If you want to learn about a company's financial situation, one of the best place is to start from their annual financial statements, such as 10K forms. These form holds a lot of information regarding the company's financial situation, where they're spending and making money, what are different types of risks, but uh, these financial statements are not a fun read. That's why you can really use the power of LLMs to derive insights from these complex documents. Recently, I have started looking at Llama Index. They actually have a very interesting open source project called SCC Insight that uses retrieval augmented generation capabilities of Llama Index to answer questions about SCC, 10K, and 10Q documents. This project actually highlights the different capabilities of Llama Index. And that's why I have been uh, actually focusing on Llama Index more recently. Now, using LLMs for financial documents is a very complex task because financial documents contains text, images, and tables. It's a very hard problem to solve. And I think that's why it's a perfect application for rank pipelines. Here is the system architecture of the SCC Insight. It has a full front end as well as back end implementation. There is an S3 bucket for storing the PDF files as well as the vector store, but that is in a private bucket and it's making calls to OpenAI services as well as some other uh, APIs for retrieving financial data. In this video, I will give you a quick demo of the application on how it works, but in a later video, I'll break it down and we will specifically focus on how the retrieval, retrieval is done with a special focus on how the data is being read from tables. Okay, so they are hosting uh, this application on a website called sccinsight.ai. I'll put a link in the description of the video. So let's quickly look at how this works. So currently you cannot uh, upload your own documents, but here is a list of companies that you can use. So for example, we can select something like Tesla, then what type of form we want. So let's say we were looking at the annual report uh year so it has data for the last three years so let's select uh 2022 we can add this and let's say another one is nvidia same annual report 2022 and add this as well and you can i think uh, upload up to uh, or select up to 10 different companies but we're going to just select three different companies so I think I included Amazon, Nvidia, Tesla, or maybe let's uh, make it four. We're going to do Apple uh, as well. All right, once you select your companies, then simply uh, click on start your conversation. Okay, so you're going to be presented with something like this. On the right hand side, you can actually see uh, different 10K forms for different companies. And here are simple uh, links to each one of them. Okay, so on the left hand side, here are some pre populated questions for you, or you can simply start typing your question in here. So let's use um, the pre populated question. So, for example, here's one which company had the highest revenue? So now, if we click on this, so basically it has to go through the revenue of each of these four companies and then figure out which company had the highest revenue. So let's uh, simply ask this question. So we're going to hit enter. So it basically goes through the whole process. So if you look here, it's actually asking uh, this question individually for each of the earning reports that we have provided, right? And it is getting an answer for each of the company individually. And then there is an agent which compare all of these together uh, to give us the final answer. Now you can see based on the individual answers, it's able to deduce that Amazon has the highest revenue among the companies mentioned. Now, this is a really great application of RAG. Let's ask it another question. So we're going to ask it, what were uh, different risk factors for each of the companies? And let's see if it can uh, come up with an answer based on the annual reports that we have provided. Okay, so here's the answer that we got. It says the risk factor for each company is as follows. So it lists risk, risk factors for Amazon, Apple, Nvidia, and then even for Tesla as well. Now, the thing that I'm interested in is this uh, progress section. So if you look at here, what it did was based on a question, it generated a subquery and then it queried the document. Let's say it generated a subquery for Amazon 
and then it um, basically queried the information from that specific document and it came up with the answer similarly it did it for uh, apple nvidia and tesla as well now one great feature that they have included is uh, the answers are actually grounded in the documents so for example if you see here these are the highlighted sections so let's say if you click on this now here you can see which uh, part or chunk of text from the original uh, document was used to generate the answer so this is very critical uh, when you're creating answers based on a documents provided so this ensures that the answers are actually grounded in the context rather than uh, the LNM is generating something from its own knowledge base here's another example so in this case we are uh, looking at the answer for Tesla and actually I wanted to see uh, which portion of the document or like the annual report was used so you can come back here and uh, this is the part of the document that was used to generate the answer now for SEC insight the great thing is this whole thing in terms of both the front end as well as back end is open source so you can actually go to their github repo and look at the code here's the tech stack that they are using so the front is uh, front end is based on react uh, and tailwind css and the back end you have a fast api uh, open ai is used for actually both the embedding as well as the llm part right there is a, um, a vector store in there and it everything is uh, put together using llama index and for infrastructure they're using render.com Vercel, and aws now if you are interested in learning more about llama index i have an ongoing series on that so i'll put a link to the playlist you can watch that and learn more about it i'll be adding more videos to it i'll highly recommend uh, to check out the sec insight project and play around with it i hope uh, you found this video useful if you did consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and as always see you in the next one